Jace. Hey, Sean, mate, how are you? Yeah, bloody awesome day here in the Waikato. What do you reckon? It's awesome. Welcome to the wonderful world of Waikato Sheds, everybody. We have a fantastic heritage barn for you today. What are we looking at today? What is behind us? What is this masterpiece, Sean? So, Jace, as you can see, it stands out straight away. These lovely colours here. Something a bit different to what we usually do, actually. This is a nice pioneer red here in T-rib cladding. This is all pressed by Metalcraft here in Hamilton and also some nice cloud flashings around the roller doors plus with the roller doors as well, nice cloud colour. Now who did these wonderful roller doors that we just appeared from? Um, so Garador, they supplied all the roller doors for us here and we actually got Waikato door specialists here in Hamilton just to supply them and install them for us. Thanks guys, you've done a great job once again. Always. Always. All right, so this is all beautiful color steel, looking fantastic on this shed. Now, who built this wonderful shed for us? <laughs> Mr. Sam McKenzie? Yep, Mr. Sam McKenzie. So shout, shout out to Sam. You might have seen him or heard of him in a video before that first shed we ever did. When he was a young man, he built that. When he was a slightly more vintage man, he's <laughs> built this one for us. So cheers, Sam. You and Kale have done an awesome job on this shed. You should be very proud. Why don't we go inside, check out what we, what's in there. I reckon that's a good idea, Jace. All right, let's make it happen. Awesome, we're inside this heritage barn and it's looking fantastic. Now I can see there's two beautiful Waikato Sheds Utes in the background, so it must be pretty big. What is the size of this place? Yeah, great question, Jace. It's actually 12 by 12, so 144 square meters with three bays, each four meters wide. And like Jace said, enough room for a lot of toys in here. I mean, two big Waikato Sheds Utes, can't ask for much more. Yeah, I see we've gotten some nice big New Zealand steel posts here, rock solid. Now, some of our barns, clear span, our gables, clear span, heritage barn, traditionally with posts. If someone wanted to see a video of our sheets without a clear, without these posts, where would they go, Sean? Good question as well, Jay. So, as you might have seen from the past, we've already done a clear span American barn as well. If you want to check it out, head along to our YouTube channel. There's lots of videos on there and videos coming out every week. All right, make sure to subscribe. Now let's keep talking about this awesome shed in here. We've got some Thermocraft paper on the roof, Watergate pus, pus paper on the walls. It's excellent, keeps the shed nice and warm, nice and dry. Now Sam's done a great job with all the X bracing and cross bracing. Should we go over and have a look at how we've framed out the windows in here? I think we should, come right. have a look. So we've got a window here, city glass. You guys are doing a great job. This window looks fantastic in cloud. I always love it. We've got these little breathers on the window. So we put it on here just like a high-end residential. You can clip it over. Just gives that little airflow into it. But man, such good joinery. So proud of being able to work with you guys and put these into these sheds. Now, you wanted to talk us through the engineering that you've done here, Sean? I sure do. So you might see it does look quite a little bit intense here, but here at Waikato Sheds, we customise the sheds to exactly how you want it. So there might have been some massive X bracing going through this wall, but the client said, hey man, I really want a window in this wall. But so what we've done here is added in two jams on each side and just done some alternative bracing around the window. Strength by design, it's going to be awesome. It's fantastic. Now we happen to see a little box here from our mates at Connect. Thank you Brendan looking after us all the time. They do all our tech screws but strength by design comes from many angles. We don't just tech this shed together, we don't clout the walls on, we screw all the walls on and then we dyna bolt it to the floor and we're bolting all our structure together here. So they do a great job on supplying all of that for us. And it's all these sort of people who work together to make a heritage barn that looks as good as this, that's gonna last 50 years come together. All right, what else have we got going on in here, Sean? Pretty decent concrete pad as well. Beautiful. A1 Bobcats and concrete, they like us, they help us out and we love them. They do an awesome job on the concrete every single time and yeah, just really appreciate what they do here for us. Yeah, absolutely, thanks to Sean and Kelly at A1 and the rest of the team, you guys are doing a great job. All right, I think this place is fantastic. Everyone's done a great job. I love it. I wish I had one at home. I wish I had three. Why not? <laughs> you can never have too many sheds. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, should we make, a, make our move and get on out of here, eh? I think we should, Jace. All right, let's do it. <laughs> 